Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this magic fun Nancy print camera for kids. Yeah, the listing on Amazon says zero ink camera with paper films, cartoon stickers and color pencils. Comes with a 32 GB memory card, uh, portable digital camera, toys, gift boys and girls. It comes in uh, yellow. I don't know if it's uh, available or it will be available in different colors. I think this is the yellow and we see on the box the model type D10. And this has been around for about one year as far as I've been able to see. But for me it's pretty new one and a very interesting concept. I've never seen this thing here. Small nice camera for children or teenagers coming with as far as I know thermal paper so you don't need any difficult installation no ink uh, cartridges or so so definitely uh, suitable for children so it could be a great alternate solution compared to the Polaroid cameras which are still around my daughter bought one about one year ago and she has never been really happy with it. I mean, this is black and white, Polaroid is uh, full color, but I've never been really happy. She hasn't been really happy with the Polaroid because there was always this battery problem and the quality was also not really good. It was really expensive. I think this can be also much cheaper printing. You can buy this film or printer rolls pretty cheap. Here's the camera. It's looking pretty good, solid, I would say. It's not too heavy, not too light. It has a decent size. Comes with this protection here. You have to remove the thing to have the best quality, of course. And here on the side we get the accessories and the add-ons which were promised like these nice stickers. I think has nothing to do with the camera, but you can use that. I mean also after printing you can even color the prints and use these stickers on the prints. And here we have the instructions manual and as always I'm going to show you the full manual to give you the opportunity to make a better buy decision or if you bought used or lost the instructions. Uh, it comes in different languages. English is 8 pages. So that's the thing. I hope you can see everything. It's focusing nicely. I hope everything is good. So make sure you go to the highest resolution, usually 1080p. Put it on pause on every page. So you have plenty of time to read everything. Yeah, four and five and that's six and seven. So there's not much left. One page here and we are already done. Warranty card. So let's check again on the accessories, what we get here. Nice carrying strap, I would say. Then we get different colors here already to make some drawings on the printings. We get two film rolls and we get the charging cable USB-C, which usually is the better version uh, than micro USB. I like this. First thing, it's more powerful and second thing, it's easier to charge. So first thing I'm going to show you the openings to open the front, that's the printer paper roll. You can pull here or here on the side, there's a little bit of a flap here, you really have to push pretty hard, I mean not extremely but a little bit and then you can see the paper already inside. So this was already inside, I didn't put that inside, you can see we have two replacement rolls, one is already inside so you can see how it comes. I think it should go at least to the edge here, so it doesn't look too complicated. We can push the thing outside. So when you want to insert a new film roll or printing roll, make sure that you have a little bit of uh, spare paper here. So you can really pull that and just put it inside here. Make sure that it's evenly inside here and we have a little bit of paper coming to the outside. Snap it in. So I think that's ready to use or I think we can even pull here and remove the remaining thing. This is what we always do after printing. Then here we on the top we have the openings. We have the TF card already inserted here. Uh, 32 gigabytes. If you want to transfer images to your computer, you can take the thing out, put it into your computer, read. Then we have the reset function. 
you want to reset the pull it to one side and then uh, put it to the other side again if you leave it on the other side it won't be able to work and to charge we just uh, connect the USB-C cable here and then we get the welcome information and it's showing that it's charging looks like the battery is already full so I think we don't have to charge this thing here so make sure that this thing is nicely covered especially when children are using that so no water can go into these openings so the camera in general doesn't look too bad the hardware looks pretty sturdy uh, I would say safe to use for children then the menu yeah, all the menu settings, uh, it's not too difficult, but it's also not very easy. We press a little bit for the on-off button. We get into this menu here and we can already shoot some images. You can see that here. We can make an image here with this button, release button. And then regarding the menus, yeah, I'm going to show you all the menus a little bit here. I think that's the easiest thing because it can be a little bit tricky. So here's the on off, here we have the settings. We have a lot of settings. You can have high, medium and low printer shade. So I think more density or more strong printing. Then the resolution, I highly recommend to use full HD resolution. I think that's for the video. Then we have the image quality 12, 18 or 26 uh, megapixel. I've been choosing 26. I think uh, there was really a difference between 12 and 26. When you look at the images on the computer, yeah, they are about 11 megapixel real, but, but they are highly interpolated. So there's not much in it. I mean, the quality is okay, but it's, it's not a real 26 megapixel or so. The real file size on the highest settings is about one megabyte so you can make thousands of images with this storage card uh, yeah I would say leave it on 26 uh, megapixel here then delay photo we have a couple of options here delay the photo by three five or ten seconds if you want to make a selfie uh, then you can uh, activate the image then put it on a desk and have some nice uh, selfie or group image there's also a possibility for three photos cycle records of three five or ten minutes then we have different scene modes i have it on automatic then purica that's something which is a little bit difficult i'm going to show you that at the end uh, photo zoom uh, just activate or e inactivate date time on the image beeping sound i have it on off and the led flash the flash is on or off or always on the always on is like a flashlight you can have it on always on then you can use it like a flashlight but of course also for video making this is what's probably recommended for video making i have it on on and then we have time setting auto power off language different languages a lot of different languages available leave it on english format the storage card and reset system if you can't reset it here reset it on top so there's not much crazy stuff here except from what's a little bit difficult the puricura that's some kind of a frame you can uh, go to ok and then choose from about 30 different frames uh, when you click on OK, then it's selecting the thing. You don't see it. Then you have to click on the select again, and then you see the frame. That's a little bit untypical here. I'm selecting another one. So let's go with the 22. Click on the settings again, and you can see this nice border. And when we make an image here, it will make it with this border. So I have made the image, and it has added this border. If you don't want it, to get rid of this thing you have to click on the back button here that's a little bit complicated but apart from that if you know how to do that's no big deal so in general the on off here we have the settings here we have the print menu but as long as you are in the camera mode it doesn't do anything i'll show you that later and here we have the camera to the front which we have here and now i can click and then we have the camera in the back you can see i mean this camera here or the camera here so you have really 
two cameras here built in pretty good in general yeah the release button here and here we have the switch that's also an important button here so that's the switch here between the video mode and the camera mode and you can see this here in the corner and now we are in the video mode and we can see that we can record more than two hours and 33 minutes with the remaining storage we can click again and we see that it will now record an image we can see the difference here here we make an image and yeah, now it's even printing i haven't found out when it's printing automatically and when it's not usually it's not printing automatically sometimes it starts to print automatically i really haven't found out when it's doing that we can easily take this away and you can see yeah the quality is a little bit different i mean sometimes it's pretty good sometimes it's a little bit difficult you can see this there, there are some objects which are a little bit difficult to take and some objects which work uh, much better so usually when you're recording or making a picture from a face from people then it's usually much better objects like also outside yeah i mean the quality is not bad but to print then can be a little bit of a challenge what you also can do you can uh, open the thing and you can use the USB-C cable to connect it to a computer and then you will get some kind of storage icon here it says like I think like memory or something like that then you have to click to the OK button and it will then show the whole content of the storage card on your PC. That's pretty convenient. I've done this and it was easy to transfer everything to my PC. By the way, the image here is much better than what you see. The camera here has some problems with the screen recording. It's definitely not making these squares or so. This, this is probably just caused by different frequencies. I still hope you can see everything. So again here change between photo and video here can go into zooming mode yeah we, maybe we can show you that here a little bit uh, zooming mode zooming in you can see how much we can do now we go out a little bit there's definitely a difference but don't expect too much i mean there's not optical zoom or so then to go into playback mode that's usually pressing here and we can go up and down through all the images you can see the one here with the nice border frame here uh, i've done a couple of images yeah when you are too close then usually it doesn't get uh, really good quality videos or photos you have to move a little bit away sometimes this thing here has been too close but when you are a little bit further away you can see that it's not doing a bad job here outside yeah don't expect uh, absolutely great quality but i would say for this price range it's definitely acceptable you can do something you can let your children take some images and even put it on your computer send it to friends or so you can definitely recognize what's on the images and selfies i would say are even the best i almost have the impression that this com camera here is even better than the one here this has been a selfie shooting and when you're happy with what you are seeing here you can hit the print button and then you don't have to press ok if you want to print you have to use the print button again so let's do that here now the print is coming out now we can take it away and you can see that's definitely useful i mean it's not the greatest quality but that's definitely something you can use then you can even use your pens and make it a little bit nicer but this is really something which you can use but it definitely doesn't work for everything you have to be a little bit careful you have to use the right settings you have to use a nice environment where you have nice illumination nice contrast but at the end it's definitely possible to do something which make your children happy i'm pretty sure about that i think this could be a great gift and uh, this can make definitely a lot of fun yeah i would say for this low price there's nothing to complain about and i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order drive from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time